Now in this video, I'm going to share with you how to get the most out of this entire two days. First of all, let's start off with the seminar checklist. Now, bring all this stuff if you want to have maximum learning experience. First of all, writing materials is a must. Bring your own pen and paper. Bring a laptop and a charger. All of us are going to have one PowerPoint each. So make sure you bring only the charger for the device that you are using at that point in time. Next, mobile broadband or smartphone if you have them, just in case the internet goes down at a rented event. This is completely out of our control. So it's more important that we do something productive. Having mobile broadband or having a smartphone that you can teeter from will be very useful. Next, probably you want to bring some light snacks between the sessions like nuts and salad so you can chew on them if you want to. Now next, bring a jacket because the entire room will be air conditioned which will be cold for some people, warm for some people. But just in case, bring a jacket along. Yeah? Next, bring a water bottle. There will be water dispenser available for you so you can refill a water bottle there in between the breaks. Next one, what do we expect on the first day? Registration starts 30 minutes before the event and I will be there to bring you into the room on time barring any unforeseen circumstances. So this means that in the meantime, after you're done with registration, you will be at the holding area where this will present to you an opportunity for you to calm down and to get yourself to the learning mindset, ready to learn, ready to implement as well. Yeah? Next, there will be breaks in between the sessions and of course, there will be lunch breaks for you on both days. So next, to get the most value out of this entire seminar, first thing that's very important, know what you want to achieve even before you turn up for the event. Now, what do I mean? Some people might be thinking, Dom, I want to achieve more financial freedom. Yes, but question, what do you want to achieve during that two days? It's the most important question at this moment in time. Imagine this, if someone came to this program with the expectation that they just want to look, see, look, see, see what they can learn, as compared to someone else who came with the expectation that they want to get their Kindle business kickstarted within these two days. Question, do you think there will be a difference in the level of participation? in the level of involvement? And when it comes to hands-on activities, do you think they'll behave very differently? Of course. People who come to this program with the look-see, look-see expectations, just come here to see what they can learn. These are the people who, when it comes to hands-on activities, you will see them staring into space or they will be surfing the internet doing things that are completely irrelevant. The second group of people who come to this program with the expectations that they want to get their Kindle business kickstarted within these two days, they behave very differently. These are the people during hands-on activities, you're going to see them participating full out. These are the people who will give their all to complete the hands-on assignment at that point in time. And these are the people who usually walk away from the two-day program with a lot more things to show for. Same two-day program, but very different results just because they came with different expectations. So know what you want to achieve before you come for the program. Second thing, after you clarify what you want to achieve, you know what you want. When you come to this program, bring along the right attitude, bring along the right mindset that can support you to achieve the outcome. So if your outcome is you want to kickstart your business within these two days as well, come with the expectations and come with the mindset and attitude that you're willing to do what it takes to complete the exercises. Third thing, set aside these two days for improving you and your skill. Now, just take these two days as a mini retreat for you, which means after the event, you probably just want to head directly home or somewhere conducive where you probably want to do some of the assignments that you can choose to do if you want to maximize your experience for the entire two-day event. Yeah. Now the next one, optional but highly recommended. You probably want to familiarize yourself with the entire seminar location first before you turn up, especially with the traffic conditions so that you can turn up not just on time but you can be early as well, settle down first, then I'll see you in the event. So with that, I look forward to seeing you at the event where I'm going to nurture you, support you, and train you. See you soon.